After three years of tournaments, unbelievable moments and matches, and more than $6 million awarded, the HCS Finals 2018 at DreamHack Atlanta will be the final official Halo 5 esports tournament for the Halo Championship Series. We're so thankful to all the amazing players, teams, and fans that have invested so much in supporting Halo 5 competitions to help us continue the growth of Halo esports together. What the fuck? Just kidding, guys. I could make this a whole doom and gloom piece, but I'm not that type of person. This isn't that type of channel, so it's just not going to happen. Instead, let's talk about this article in the background. If you don't already know, this is an official article on HaloWaypoint.com. It was released last week, written by Tashi himself, and it confirms that the final official competitive Halo 5 event, as far as HCS goes, is DreamHack Atlanta. If you haven't bought your flight ticket to DreamHack Atlanta and you're a Halo 5 fan, this is some serious incentive to do so. I haven't even confirmed if I can make it yet, so I'm freaking out. I need to get my ass over there and experience what is hopefully the most exciting Halo 5 event yet. I want us to pop off. I hope there are some amazing plays, and I hope I have tons of content to break down as well. It's unfortunate, guys. We've had Halo 5 for three years now. It's been through one hell of a transition. It has gone serious updates. We removed the autos. We, we changed some weapons. We tweaked things, took out ground pound, Spartan charge. Finally, Halo 5 is at a point right now where competitively it is it is hugely competitive. It's exciting. It's entertaining to watch. It's just, it's got tons of depth. I enjoy it. I love it as a title. And it's the final year that they finally managed to get it to that point. So it's upsetting that, well, I feel like the game competitively hit its stride in terms of balance and gameplay. Viewership wise, it's not doing too hot. It's been around for three years. We know that typically Halo titles, it's a three year cycle. We're expecting another title, Infinite, on the horizon, and we're all waiting for that. So, what's happening, guys? Is it over? And what's happening with my channel? Let's talk a little bit about, about that as well. Okay, so no more official Halo 5 HCS events, but 343 didn't say they were pulling out of H5 completely. There is a section here labeled Grassroots, and it says later this year we're kicking off a program to support grassroots tournaments and content creators, hi, hello, across all Halo titles, and we'll have full details to share at DreamHack Atlanta. So I don't know what this is. Hopefully it's a good announcement. Hopefully it reinvigorates some passion for everything uh, when that does come out. I know that there are third-party orgs like UGC that have had events in the past, or even PBL Halo that has regular Halo tournaments, and maybe that'll help shed light on some of these third-party orgs, and we can have more tournaments going on throughout the year. Just something to carry us over, guys. I know that it's been three years. I know that, you know, we're, we're towards the end of the Halo 5 life cycle, but I want more Halo 5 content. I don't want it to just cut off completely. And then there's the, the Master Chief Collection as well, which of course you guys know, and a lot of buzz is being generated about this right now. There are rumors that they're going to be jumping into Halo 3. It says right here there's a renewed sense of excitement, reinvigoration for these games, particularly Halo 3. And the scope and specifics of potential MCC competitive offerings will be largely dependent on how well the 2v2 showdown performs in terms of participation and viewership. So if you really want to see competitive Halo 3 get played in, in bigger events, bigger tournaments on a more regular basis, it seems like this is actually a possibility and it's going to depend on how popular that 2v2 event is. And in the end of the day, guys, I mean, right now I'm an H5 kid, but honestly, as long as it's Halo, as long as Halo is getting support and Halo is getting viewership in some freaking way, whatever it is, whether it's Halo 3, Halo 5, I am okay with that, all right? I can analyze classic Halo gameplay and it's something I've been thinking about applying to this channel as well, and we'll talk about that too. And then there's the future. There's Halo Infinite and what's happening there. And this game could be two years out. It could be four years out. We have no idea when this is coming. I hope to God it's coming soon, and I hope there's a beta coming soon as well. I don't know if you guys know about the, the article, or not the article, but the announcement of the Halo or Xbox event happening in November. There's an official Xbox event in November. They don't typically do this, but they're bringing it back. And it says Spencer also promised major news announcements from both Microsoft and third-party publishers and developers. So there's a part right here. It says, we know our fans love big announcements. We can celebrate what it means to be a big Xbox fan and gamer. It's going to be a great time. Now, I have been hugely disappointed by these types of events before, and, and I'm not going to have high expectations on what they're going to showcase, but I hope to God they showcase or give us some 
something for Halo Infinite. It would be amazing if we had some sort of a beta release. We have Crackdown apparently coming out as well. Remember how Crackdown, the first one, came out and you got the Halo 3 beta with the first Crackdown? They could bring that back with this Crackdown and a beta for the new Halo. Not that I want to buy Crackdown to have to play the beta, but just it's, you know, it's, it's all related. I hope that they do something to give us some sort of Halo Infinite gameplay so we can keep that buzz going. We have something excited to talk about. And as far as my content and this channel goes, back in March when I started putting out videos regularly, I had an objective for this channel. And I still do. I want to put competitive Halo back on the map. I am not afraid to say that I love Halo 5. There are so many aspects about this game that I feel like are misunderstood or don't have the recognition that they deserve. And it was my objective to showcase that to you guys, to show you what was so exciting about Halo 5 and why it's so exciting and explain all the little nuances and depth that goes into the competitive play of this game, bridging the gap between the low level and the high level players and just making you excited and engaged at the same time. And in some ways, I feel like I've accomplished that goal. I've definitely had a couple videos like the Shotzi video that hit 20,000 people and, and I've had a lot of amazing messages and comments from you guys. You guys are amazing. You're so inspiring. So thank you for that. So I'm happy that I've gotten here. I'm, I'm honored. I'm so thankful. But I want to let you guys know I'm not done yet, okay? I'm still going to make more content and especially with this announcement between now and DreamHack Atlanta, this shit put a fire under my ass. I need to put up more content. I need more analysis and way more live streaming. If you guys are watching this video right now, as soon as it comes up, I am already live on twitch.tv slash the shy way. I am live right now and I'm going to be live for at least the next four hours. We're streaming tonight. We got HCS Weekly. If you guys don't already follow HCS Weekly, please follow it. It's on UGC's YouTube channel. It's a regular weekly show about everything happening in HCS. I'm interviewing top Halo players and that will probably end up turning into a Halo show. So we're going to talk about all things Halo every week, depending on what's happening with HCS. So, so much content I still want to be putting out. We're going to ramp up the intensity between now and Atlanta. I'm going to do everything I can to grind for you guys for this channel and, and really send this stuff off. As far as what happens after HCS Atlanta, I don't know, guys. I'm still waiting for that final announcement. I want to see what the landscape looks like afterwards, and we'll talk about it and continue to communicate about this as we get there. But I do have other games and other ideas in mind for analysis, and I hope that doesn't upset you guys. I hope that actually excites you guys, the idea of putting out other types of analysis for other games like classic Halo, either Halo, probably Halo 3 would be what I'd be looking at. I'm also thinking of COD Black Ops 4. I've been following that game closely following players like Shotzi and seeing how they're making that transition over. It's pretty cool, pretty exciting. And I'm also thinking about Smash Bros. Melee. I have a lot of experience in that as well, if you don't already know. So a couple other games might come up in the future and we'll figure that out when we get there. And don't worry, guys, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to make every single one of these titles awesome and engaging for all of you. But between now and November 16th or whenever Atlanta is, we are grinding, okay? We're going on Twitch. We're releasing content. I'll do everything I can to release as much content as possible. And we got our Frosty Part 2 video coming out soon as well. So join me, guys. If you're finished watching this video, you're hopping off this video, hop on to twitch.tv slash the shy way and join me. We'll play some Halo. We'll talk about Halo and the state of the franchise and ramp up everything in for tomorrow for HCS Weekly. We'll be talking to Nighty Night and hopefully one more guest. We'll see. And make sure to comment and let me know what you think of this recent Halo 5 news. What are you going to do now that you know this is the final event? Are you going to keep playing Halo 5, play other games? Honestly, guys, in the end of the day, I'm a firm believer in play what you love. Do what you love. It doesn't matter how many people are playing Halo 5. If you like Halo 5, keep playing Halo 5. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the options I provided as far as game analysis goes. What games do you love? What games would you love to see me analyze? And especially out of the three that I provided, which one do you think would be the most exciting to watch? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. Keep in touch with all my videos as soon as they come out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night.